الحمد لله السلام عليكم عليكم السلام ورحمة الله الحمد لله شيخ رمضان كريم I hope everything's okay yeah good ما شاء الله where are you at Nottingham oh okay ما شاء الله yeah yeah شيخ عبد الحكيم he has a contention that suggests that Khidr alayhi salam was the uh, was Robin Hood Okay. So the notion that he was also a Buddha has just blew my mind tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I may, I think I made a pretty strong argument. If yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, I I got it from Shaharastani, who was a very formidable scholar. So so it's not original, but I I, I substantiated it. He just made it as an aside, and and then I actually researched it and showed the hadiths are very interesting about the because there's hadiths that he was a prince that he fled the palace that he you know so that there there i think there's a strong argument alhamdulillah so yeah it, it's uh, i look i look forward to re reading the article i've had it on my reading list for a while inshallah but the, the, it's interesting the uh, the question i have is with respect well a couple of things one is with respect to uh, I think Thomas Clary called it the constellation of associations. Yeah. So I've been sitting with my with my son and my nephew the past couple of days. And we've been I've been getting them to commit to memory the definition of the uh, four degrees of reading from how to read the book. So then we got to analytical reading. I was like, okay, boys, I want you to give you some examples. And we looked at um, the word kalam, and obviously the uh, I think you mentioned it before that. One of the dictionaries when you change the dhamma and the when you change the fat on the calf you get kolam and kilam and then right it comes it comes from the verb kalama which means to cut so we started exploring all the associations between cutting and speaking cutting because right. it, it cuts silence yeah, yeah. I did, uh, the importance of cutting harder to cultivate it how cultivating harder to learning language or associative yeah. and Oh, that's and what distinguishes can, human beings. You can wound with words. Exactly, all of that. So then my, my question, and that's, that's what this distinguishes as a human beings, is language and cultivation sure. of the earth. So, and I, was, I thought it was really insightful of the lads that they could get all of this. And I, was, and I know that Lane's lexicon, it gives you these constellations, but are there any other texts that one can look at to... to uh, In English? Arabic, Arabic's fine. I mean, Arabic. The the best one is uh, is the Maqais al um and then um, and then the Mufradats, Raghbir Ispahani. So the Maqais al is uh, is really uh, he goes into that. Ibn Jinni goes into that. The Muzhir of uh, Imam Siyuti does a lot of really interesting things. Um, what's called Ilm al Istiqaq. You know, and then you have uh, like what they call metathesis, um, which is qalb um, al So the idea that letters, if they if they, if they share, if a word shares the same letters, there's some shared meaning in Arabic. So so uh, you know jadaba uh, and uh, uh, I mean, there's a whole bunch of words. Uh, Trying to think of of some of those words right now. Anyway, it's eluding me. But um, there's a there's a, a a lot of words that have that. Um, and then you have the dyadic structures of of the words that give you nuanced meanings in the in the in the uh, triliteral roots. Um, then you have the uh, the the uh, the sister letters. So you have words like uh, m m whenever you see ma and ba. They're very often interchangeable in Arabic. Um, so like Bakhira and Makhira are both types of ships. Um, Mecca and Bekka. Um, so the, and then also Ta and, and Ta. Um, ta and Dal are sister letters. So you, there, there's, I mean, the Arabic... When you really get into deep Arabic study, you will be convinced it's a divine language that humans could not have sat around and worked that out. There's, it's just I don't believe that's logical. Can I shoot another request, Sheikh, just really quickly? And this, it might be—I don't know if you, 
um, Bab Chorfa in Fez, the, the um, says that live there, I don't know if you're aware, they've been given a very short notice of eviction from the yeah, ministry. Yeah, no, I saw that. And I, and I contacted somebody that I know just to make them aware of it. So that was about all I could do. But yeah, I did see that. Yeah. I mean, I, I was there when I was 18 years old. I stayed in that place. Yeah.